Hey guys, so this is just a quick technique for color popping and selective coloring. So you want to first off by start by opening up Photoshop, opening up the mini bridge. You can do that by opening it up there or file, browse and mini bridge. Go and find your image, which is this one I'm using. Right click and open in camera raw. Once it's open, you can then go straight over to the uh, HSL and grayscale tab, which would be the fourth one in. Go to saturation, and for this one, I'm going to make all the reds pop out. So we'll grab the magentas and make them to minus 100 the purples, the blues, aquas, greens, yellows, and oranges, all down to minus 100. and then we'll increase the reds as you can see we this building here has some red in it so go ahead and grab your adjustment brush at the top here this one and this new tab over the right hand side of Olympian drag the saturation from it will be at zero or anywhere along here drag it all the way down to minus 100 you can make the size bigger just to make it quicker and then start painting all these areas which need to be changed all these areas are areas that you don't want to be you don't want to be um, red so we can drop this brush size just to get into these smaller areas I think this image just naturally has a red tinge on this road. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. It might just be my eyes. Okay, so you can just go over the whole image and wherever. Just to make sure. Okay. So once you've done that, you can go ahead and click off of your adjustment brush and click any of the other tools, doesn't matter. Go back to the and this window of the right hand side will open up which will automatically be on the HSL and grayscale uh, tab and you can go back to basic which will be the first tab and this is where we can change what the picture looks like for the moment it looks a bit bright, the background looks a bit bright so we can go ahead and make this contrast a bit higher so drag it up to, I don't know I'll put mine around 70 around 60, 60 to 70 in my image I'll do 67 will do you can go and play around with the clarity add the clarity slightly vibrance, you can increase the vibrance and the saturation the saturation changes how much the colours will pop up to a hundred and all the areas that you've missed will pop as well so for this I'm gonna make it around 20 you could change the exposure if you really wanted to you don't need to so leave it like that okay just to make sure that's all probably put this contrast up a bit more actually yeah I do okay so once you've you're happy and you've been playing around with the image and you're happy with what it looks like go ahead and click open image the image will open drag the uh, padlock down to the the bin or you can double click it and then you can start to play around with what the image actually looks like now so you could add a black and white gradient map overlay just to give it some more contrast so we'll have that like that and then you could add another layer fill that layer in black get your elliptical marquee tool delete so then you're left with this 
bit of filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Set this to around about, depending how big your image is, just so it looks good for mine. About 70 will look fine. And then just drop the opacity slightly. And then for these dark areas around the edges, just grab your rubber, sort them out. You could drop the opacity of the rubber and stuff as well. So basically guys, that has just been a quick tutorial. Quick tutorial of colour popping and selective colouring. Hope it's been helpful. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Leave a like. And post a comment in the description saying what you want to see more of. And I'll get those videos out for you. Thanks for watching guys. Peace.